and we are back. Hello everyone, welcome back to 5 minutes question and where I will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and gigs for gigs within less than 5 minutes. Okay, so today's problem of the day is all unique permutation of an array which is a medium level problem and I also think it's a medium level problem for those who understand backtracking but it's a bit on the hard level problem for those who haven't solved any backtracking problem yet but 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 there is no issue I am here so I'm going to explain you what's backtracking and everything about it in very less time okay all right so yeah let's find out what will be given into this problem and what we have to do so we will be given one array list of name arr and n so n will be basically the size of this arr array list okay so n will be the size of this all right so what we have to do so we have to return all the permutations of that array one to one permutations basically means unique permutation unique means what so basically first of all what is permutation permutation means all the rearrangement different rearrangement we can do so if the is one to three suppose my array is one to three so what will be the permutations i think everyone knows one comma two comma three two comma one comma three okay and uh, three comma two comma one and uh, 3 comma 1 comma 2 so in this way in this way, i think everyone knows everyone have read about this permutation so what we have to do the permutation length should be equal to should be same of that error length so it, it is not like that i will i can include one only two so that time it will become subset okay that time it will become subset but we have to give the all the permutations so basically means all the elements of the array should be included in that and what are the number of arrangements we can make and we have to return all the arrangements okay all right so this is the problem i think it should be clear so now Let's jump on to the notes section where I've written something for you, which will help you in understanding this problem better. Okay. So, all right. So, all unique permutations of an array. So, if you have read the question properly, there it was written. We have to return all permutations in sorted order. What does this mean? What does this mean in sorted order? So, uh, let's take one very simple array, 4, 5. Okay. So, here, if you will see what the sorted order means, means 4, 5 should come first and 5, 4 should come next. It means what? It means, look, 4, 45. If I will uh, add that, like I will make it a whole number, 45. So, it will be less and then 54. So, that is what is sorted order. If you will check about this 1, 2, 1, so it means what? It means uh, 1, 1, 2, first of all, it will come. And after that, 1, 2, 1 will come. And after that, 2, 1, 1 will come. There can be any else, but I, I'm just trying to explain you what the sorted order means. So I think it is clear. How can we do that? Oh, what, what's the problem? So how can we do that? We If we will sort, if we will sort the array, if you will sort the uh, array list which we, are, which we are getting, so we can achieve this thing easily. Okay, so it's not a big thing, big issue. So now, second thing was what? Second thing was duplicate. We don't have, we don't, we should not have duplicate permutations. We should not return duplicate permutations. What does this mean? So if there is only one, uh, let's say there is an array list which contains one comma one comma one. Okay, one comma one comma one. So what will be the permutations? If all the, the permutations which you are, which you will try to make, it will be one comma one comma one. So we don't need to return many arrays. One of the only the one unique array is there, which is one comma one comma. So we will return that only. Okay. So this is basically what is unique and duplicate. So yeah, how can we do that? suppose i'm adding i got one of the permutation and i will add it to my answer array list before adding to the answer array list i will check if it is present in my set if it is present it means that thus uh, it is duplicate one so i will not add it but if it is not present in set i will add it into the set as well as i will add it to the our answer list okay so i think this point is clear how to add duplicate and return all permutations is clear as well now how are we going to do it so it's a basically a standard backtracking problem and uh, we have two choices either to include that number into our sequence or not either to include that number into our sequence or not okay so yeah that is it now how are we going to solve this so basically what will be our base case if you will see if we will return at the last okay if we return uh, if we uh, come at the last and i will check that my permutation length is equal to permutation length is equal to my array list length my given array list length. it means we have included all the letters so if we have included all the letters i will simply check with the set and do the needful okay so base case condition is also clear all right now how are we going to do this so look i will take one array list as my uh, current permutation okay it will be containing my permutations it will be my visited array which will mark which of the array is visited which, which means which of the uh, index is taken okay so that i don't take up uh, taking one only the same index again and again and again i think you guys are getting okay now what i will do so look i will start a loop from zero to array last of the array okay zero to last of the array so here look first of all what i will do i will get one so i will add it to my array list now one is added and again i will do the recursive call so i will do the and i will mark this one uh, zero index as true okay now again i will do the recursive call i will again uh, so here you will check i equal to zero 
Okay, so now again, when I will do the recursive call, I will check. Okay, one, this is visited, come to next, one, again. So this is not visited. What I will do? I will add this to my array list here. So it is one of the permutation. Uh, my answer will be containing all the array list of these types. Okay, all these will be contained here. I think you guys are getting. Okay, in this way. Now, this one is included again, one comma one. I will mark this as visited here. And i1, i equal to two i equal to 1. So here we will be using the loops. So when i will be 0, I will check, okay, it is visited. Now again 2. At 2, I will come. So here what? i equal to 2 also. So I will check, no. Uh, when I will come here, the new recursion loop, I will check, oh, this is also visited, this is also visited, 2 is not visited. Okay. I will mark the 2 as true. I will add it to our list and I will again make the recursive call. So now when I will make the recursive call, I will check, oh, its length is equal to this length and my set is also, set does not contain this. So I will add this to my answer. Array list, answer error list. Okay, so now I have added. Now on coming back, so look, i equal to two again. When I I, ca I can't go to i equal to three, so this set is done. Okay, this is done. So what I will do? I will make this as false. Okay, I will make this as false, and I will remove it from my array list. All right. So this is basically after the recursive call, I'm going to do these things. Remove it from the array and mark it as visited false. Okay. Now after that, I will again come to this point because i equal to one here. So Two is now false. Okay, two is now false. What I will do? This one, I will remove it. I will remove this one as well from here. So when I removed, I will mark this as visited false as well. Okay, false. Now i equal to one. So now I can go i equal to two here as well because I I'm, I said uh, we are using a loop. So i equal to two. Okay, now i equal to two. I will check is two is visited. No. So I will do what? I will do two. I will do two. So if you will see in my current, I have only one. So now I have included this, made this true. So I will add this two as well, i equal to two. Okay. So again, I will make a recursive call, you know, i equal to two after two. So when I will make a recursive call, again, I will check, oh, this one, it is visited. Okay. This one, no, it is not visited. So I will do what? I will add this to my array list. I will do this true. Again, I will do the recursive call. So in this way, you can see one, two, one is, will be added. One, one, two was already added. And if you will do some use some pencil and uh, paper so you will see that oh this approach is working fine and 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 guys if i will write the code for it it will become very easy to do so yeah if you have loved the approach if you've got the solution so please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and and i'm someone who does not who doesn't believe in explaining too much because then it will like uh, you guys can't develop your intuition okay so please let me know if this my thinking is correct or not should i uh, explain full program or just this much is enough okay so yeah now let's jump onto the code section for it and write the code okay Okay, all right. So let's write the code. So what we have to do? Let's make first of all our answer array. Let's name it as result. Equal to new array list. Let's do cold here into the north. And I'm making this video in the night. Okay. Now again, one more thing which we need to do is make a visited array as I told. So boolean visit equal to new boolean of length n. Okay. So this is we are using so that to keep track which our index I have included or not. Okay. Now set array list. You guys, you can you guess what what this is for? Yeah, correct. This is used to so that we are only adding all the unique permutations. Okay, uh, I will write something like hst equal to new hash set. There may, can be other ways as well to do this, but uh, okay. So this let's take one array list of integer, and I will take it as current. Okay, current basically means uh, the here in this only I will do the adding of uh, numbers and removing. Okay, uh, new array list. It's too cold here. <laughs> okay. And yeah. So what I told, how are we going to do this in sorted order? How I am going to get this in sorted order? I will do the sorting of ARR array list, which will result me in do getting the sort. Okay. Collections dot sort ARR. All right. After that, after that, I'm going to make a uh, call, uh, recursion call. So let's name the function check. I don't know why I always name it as check, but yeah. ARR is our array list. Visited. Let's take visited. Let's take our HST as hash set. You can name it as well you want res our result and current okay so these are the things let's accept it here check uh, first thing is our array list arr let's copy it from here after that our boolean visit let's copy this after that our hst this After that, our result and our temp. So result is this. Okay, and uh, after that, 
our current current is this okay so these things we have to pass in our function and we have received this now so let's first of all write the base case base case is very easy if my current dot size equal to arr dot size it means we have got a permutation so we have to check first of all if not if hash set does not contain this so if hst dot contains not contains if not hst dot contains my current so what i'm going to do i'm going to add i'm going to do hst dot add new array list okay hst dot add new array list of tm uh, current and similarly in my result as well i will add this res dot add save so what why i'm doing this so that because we will be look we will be using this current again and again so i don't want to uh, because you know this is five reference so it will be changed again uh, for all so to avoid this we will make a new array list with this current okay so yeah that is it uh, and now what i will do i will do return so this is for the base case this is our base case now again look after that it's very simple and what we will doing whatever i have explained so what i will do for int i equal to zero i is less than arr dot size i plus plus and so look first of all i told he we will checking visit so if i is visited it means we, we have already there we have already got it okay so this this number we have already included so i will do continue i am not going to include that okay and if it is not visited so i will do what i will do mark it as visit to whatever told i told after that what i told i will add it to my current current dot add arr dot get of index after that what i told i will i told i will make a recursive call so calc no check arr visit hst res and current okay again i make a recursive call now what i told after making the recursive call i will do visit false okay because now we will be trying different different sequences so i will do visit false and this number which i added i will remove it as i told i if you remember we have already done this so current dot remove current dot size minus one it means remove the last number which i added okay so yeah that's it that's it it was a beautiful code and i think i explained it pretty well as well let's try to compile this oh okay so what is this it's visit okay and one more thing i am not returning anything so i will be returning my res here so let's write return res yeah let's try to compile this now i think it should get accepted come on okay let's submit it okay so meanwhile if you have loved the solution please don't forget to subscribe the channel like the video and share your feedback and if you want any type of career guidance resume review and anything so you can book a top mate call with me as well and i think it's going pretty well yeah it got submitted and i got my gateway all right thanks everyone i'm going to see you tomorrow till then keep on coding and bye and please subscribe the channel